Hey guys, Dean Gearhart. Yeah, I collect it all. Coming at you with another video. Uh, this is going to be my pickup videos from the 2024 National. I just got back home today, Sunday. Um, I'm probably going to have to break this down into two, maybe three videos, but we'll see. Uh, but first off, uh, we left Wednesday afternoon. My wife and my six-year-old daughter, and we got into Cleveland, and we got into our hotel, and we went to the Cleveland Guardians Detroit Tigers baseball game. Uh, I've never been to any other stadiums except for the ones in Pittsburgh, so uh, my wife hadn't either. So it was that was that was fun. Um, it's kind of a boring game, but the uh, Guardians ended up winning. And uh, we, you know, we had fun, so that's all that matters. Uh, Thursday, got up early, and I had my wife drop me off basically in the middle of the road. Um, there was just a ton of traffic, which I'm not going to harp on stuff was good or bad at the national. It just if you've never went, you should go, regardless of what you hear on the bad side. But I always have a blast. So, got there at 10 o'clock and the uh, show started at 10. I just do general admission, which I might do something different next year. But I uh, uh, was able to, to get into the building at least and wait until they left the general admission people in. But anyways, um, let's get to the cards. Uh, this is no particular order. I don't know what day I bought what. So, I'm just going to start with this stack of football cards here. Uh, these are for my 61 uh, top set. Uh, you can see that uh, the uh, asking price is on here, which none of the cards, uh, that is not what I paid. So um, don't even remember what the discount was. Don't care. So these are for my set. I'm building pretty much an uh, X near mint set. Uh, with the football cards, especially since the sets are smaller, I do try to get uh, good centering, uh, as few marks as, you know, these little fish eyes as possible, stuff like that. Um, no creases and, and, you know, clean backs. I'm not going to show all the backs, but they all, this is uh, generally what the backs look like. So, um while I'm showing you these cards, uh, my thoughts uh, going into the National, um, I had uh, a couple goals. Um, I don't like to set goals uh, for as far as buying cards, but I did want to have, uh, I was hoping to be able to buy a couple big cards uh, to finish off sets. So uh, when those cards come up, I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, same dealer, the 66. Uh, football, nice clean backs, same thing, X-Mint, um, and then when I'm done, like with this, this is a tough set with these uh, wood grain border things, so uh, when I finally get done with this set, um, I, there might be a couple upgrades here and there, but I'm not going to get too crazy on that. Um, it's just a couple sets, uh, which the next set coming up. And like with Bowman baseball and the 62 tops, it just, oops, you're just asking for uh, <laughs> heartache if you're trying to get these near mint to mint and not graded. So uh, these are uh, 62s for my set. There's a lot of short prints in this set, and these black borders are beyond ridiculous. So I just try to get them as centered as best I can, and uh, less chipping the better. That's kind of what we go for here. So, so you're going to see some better than than others, um, and you probably won't see any creases. The backs should be pretty clean. So, um, this is a dealer I've been dealing with for a very long time. He's at the Pittsburgh show. I believe he was at Strongville, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember that far back. Uh, but he's always at the Nationals. Um, I think his name is Charlie. 
and that's about all I remember but he uh, is a good guy to, to deal with so so I picked up quite a few of these um, and I, I want to say everything was like 15 to 20 percent off um, I know I picked up quite a few whoops cards from him so you know, sometimes he has a marked uh, short print Let's see, we'll just keep going here. So basically, like I said, I was trying to uh, not set goals, but set goals. And a lot of it just depends on what's available, what's out there. Um, as soon as I got there, which is something I, I haven't done since the first national I've been to. And this, I believe, was my 10th national. So I started going in 2014. So probably ninth because we didn't have one. Uh, they canceled it for COVID, so it was probably my ninth. But um, the first time I went to the Nationals, I was like a kid in a candy store, and I had my cart full at the first table kind of thing. But as you go to these more and more, and you get uh, the experience on your belt. I think you do better. Uh, it's just I think it's just human nature um, to go crazy at first, and then as you get older, a little wiser with it, then uh, you know you can uh, seek certain things out. But the last couple of shows, I've set goals to uh, try to finish some or get close to finishing some of my bigger sets like my 49 Bowman or my 54 Tops or my 61 Tops and I've just set myself up for basically failure because uh, believe me the Hank Aaron rookies are out there the Ernie Banks rookies are out there but um finding them raw and at the right play price or even graded, lower grade, but at the right price, isn't the easiest thing to do because you and 500 other people are trying to do that as well. So, but anyways, I'll, I'll get to, to, to that. Um, these are 69 football, uh, and I think I'm down to four cards to finish the set. And you may be asking yourself why I didn't finish it. Uh, I ran out of money. <laughs> Uh, I had a set amount with, I had a goal to take with me and I did not take that entire goal with me, but I did hit the Mac uh, ATM machine while I was in Cleveland, but my goal was to take $5,000 um, and I ended up taking $4,000 um, and I'm okay telling you guys this, this is money uh, I put aside for my overtime working at the post office uh, I worked the flea market a lot of Sundays so uh, I, I sell cards so uh, it's nothing from uh, you know from personal finances is all money put aside for the nationals and I plan to do the same thing next year uh, so, that's Joe Namath um, so I, I did spend under that so if you're keeping score at home <laughs> with all these, good luck with that. But anyways, um, that was my goal. And uh, and I didn't spend all that, so that's fine. But I didn't have enough to finish this set. And the last couple cards I need are not super high dollar ones. Um, it's just a, a matter of I'm not going to, you know... I just couldn't go, uh, couldn't buy them with what I had left over. So, anyways, these 57 tops football, as you can see, these are about what the backs all look like on that. Um, I do remember this dealer here. Um, they don't discount, but you know, going in when you're buying, they actually give me a dollar off, but, um, they don't discount, but their prices are set and they are fair, which I've got, you'll see more of them in a minute. Um, and I was fine with that because they had all their, their hall of famers in one box and they had multiples to pick from. 
and they had their commons and another box which was fine also and the prices were fair so I wasn't complaining about that at all and I did buy quite a few cards off of them as well so 99% uh, of the dealers though would probably give you a discount of some kind but I get it I, I sell cards so I understand the uh, the reasoning behind it so I was I was cool with that um, but yeah, I'm getting close on this 57 set and they're all mine are, are pretty much centered. Nice. This is a little off centered in the back. I didn't catch that, but not too concerned about it at this point with the amount of stuff I'm, I collect, um, it, you know, stuff like that's going to slip through the cracks, but that was a fair price for him. But yeah, I just got, I picked up a ton of cards from the uh, these two dealers in particular. Um, and that's kind of what you got to look for. I've dealt with uh, both, like I said, the one guy, he comes to Pittsburgh, Charlie. And then this family, I think they said they were from Arkansas. So the only time I would deal with them is at the Nationals. And I bought cards from them last year or so. And I think they actually remembered me because I like to wear, my wife gets me different uh, baseball t-shirts. And the day I bought from them, I had a w Willie Stargell uh, t-shirt on his 75 Tops card. So, and I don't know what I had last year, but anyways, I'm rambling. But there, that's the end uh the 57s from the couple different dealers I bought from there. Oops, one more. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and stop this and we'll do a second video. Thanks for watching.